Another principle that I talk about is radical transparency. Now, we've talked and you've heard about transparency. Uh, radical transparency uh, is something that I think is a little different, and it's different for a couple of reasons. If you, like most companies do, want to provide transparency, generally the company decides what that's going to be. Well, we'll talk about this program, we'll talk about that program. What businesses don't like to do is talk about everything that they're doing wrong, where they're falling short, what they're not doing right. Uh, about eight years ago, um, I had an idea and I, would, I decided that I was going to put on Seventh Generation's website a critique of our products. I was going to list everything that was wrong with every product we sold. What was wrong with the packaging? Why we had the wrong ingredient here? And of course, my sales manager uh, thought that once again, I, I had, had decided to do something just to make his life difficult. And, and he said, you know, what, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna walk into my next sales call and on the buyer's desk left by our competitor is gonna be a printout of our website with everything wrong with our products. And of course, it'll be a very short meeting and I will come in, say hello, and be escorted out of the room. And I said, you know what? I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think the buyer is, 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 is that stupid. And sure enough, what happened is that, yep, our competitors littered our website pages all over our customers. But generally speaking, in all cases but one, what the buyer said to our competitor is, thank you for sharing that with me. Before I make a decision on what product I want to sell in my store, I'd like to see the same list from you. Well, the reality is our list, as bad as it was, was better than the list that all our competitors had. And in most cases, our competitors wouldn't even provide the buyer with a similar list. And what's so important here is that we broke a paradigm that business believes so deeply in. And that paradigm is you can't talk about what you're doing wrong. When we write our corporate responsibility report every year, I jokingly say to my attorney who reads it, if you don't almost have a heart attack writing, reading it, then I have failed to do my job. I should be disclosing stuff that makes you squirm in your seat. And we have built, for those of you who know the seventh generation brand, a, a, a level of authenticity and transparency uh, that we believe is one of the key reasons behind the loyalty we have from our consumers. So radical transparency, I believe, is a critical hallmark of a company that is going to be sustainable. And the reason for that, from another perspective, is you can't judge yourself to be sustainable or responsible. You can only be judged by others. And generally speaking, companies still like to think that they can control the dialogue and the conversation. That is no longer the case. The dialogue happens out in the internet. It happens from the mouths of your customers, from your former employees. And we believe that radical transparency is a critical and foundational thing for uh, uh, responsible business.